Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is the seventh video of our Flutter with Upright series and in this video we will see how to implement the storage functionality or to upload files to the storage in Flutter. So in the last episode we created a function and then we were not able to run it on the device because the device was not responding right. So today I have already I have started the emulator first and then I have started the recording. So if you see the function is getting called here. Okay. So this is a hello world function that we have created in the last video and we are calling it in the main. But if you see here it is saying user unauthorized. No permission provided. So why this is giving us the the error is because of this execute access. So here we had not added the role of who can execute it right so here if i give any and then update it then what i will do is i will go to the deployment okay and execution okay so now if i restart the app you see the execution the error there was no error with the execution and also if i reload this you see there is execution at this time 240 a and it was completed so this is how you can call a function so now i will remove this function and then what we'll do is with this email and password right so first let's log in so let's do test at gmail.com and then password will be one two three four five six seven eight ah uh, okay so now on this click of this button right i have title and description what i will also do is i will add a file picker right so then what i will do here is i will go to this page i will go to add to do screen okay and now here what i will do is with this form text yeah so we have two text fill and now here i will just add a container so i will add a uh, button to add image okay so I will write container and then I will give the height and width of the container 100 100 let's say okay the width would be bigger I will say media query dot of context dot size dot width in to 0.9 so it will be 90 percent of the screen so 0 0.9 got it. yeah the height let's make it 50 then what we can do here is we can also give a padding or a margin so let's give a margin here okay so let's make it much nicer so let me add a decoration and also give this color inside that so that we don't get any error okay now we have gray let's make it white or yeah white now we don't we will not be able to see it so we can give a box shadow so box shadow and we don't need to write anything okay we can do this or we can also write Key, elevate to shadow and then give the value okay so this is also a good way to add a shadow instantly so basically I just need to remove the constant from here okay same effect now inside this I can have a child child can be this okay let's see okay that works now I need to add a file picker right so I write pub.dev, I go to pub.dev and then I write image picker. Let's see what we have a plugin. Okay, we have a plugin image picker. Okay. Okay. So let me take this up from here and then add it using my PubSpec assist extension. Now I can do is I can write string. image path okay i have the image path here 
okay let it add the package okay now on this container i can just add a gesture detector and then i can add a on tap functionality so let me just clear the function and then it will do add image let's see what we can do is we will do okay let's go to the documentation it says that it should be image picker then pick image okay let's do that copy it paste it here then i will import the image picker okay now since it is a await uh, we have to use await we have to also use async and then here okay now if we have the file so what i will do is i will check if image not equals to null then such step image equal image path equals to image dot path looks good now once i do that and then i will do add right here we say create to do so here all what i will do is i will add a image path and now i will add this image path variable to the create to do function okay now once this is done so this is getting done okay now i will also need to upload it to the storage so let's see the documentation of app right and then see what we have to do so first it says we need to create a bucket okay so let's go here go to storage we have a to-do data bucket okay antivirus enabled encryption enabled okay let's go to this bucket we have files now we can create files right so let's see we can create file by adding it from here itself and then i go to the usage and go to the settings and i give update permission so basically we need to give any right create read update delete okay this is for the tutorial but in your case it may be different you are in if you are using a user to log in then only a user can update or create data and only a admin can delete the data so that way you can do it also there is update file security and all these things file security when file security is enabled the user will be able to access file for which they have been granted either file or bucket permission that's great so you can specifically give user some permission in order for them to access it looks good so let's take the bucket id and then let's come here and then go down to create file right so it says if you see the code here it says first you need a client we already have that then we need to create a storage uh, object so let's go there and go to the here go to this part and then i initialize it here and instead of initializing it here i will do is i will do static storage storage and now here i will give storage equals to storage looks good now here what we need to do is now that we are doing creating a to do await create document okay now we have to also update create user id database okay now we will do we will write a function upload image and then we will pass image path and then i will give the user id okay this will be asynchronous so it doesn't have to depend on the thing so we already have the string but what is string string is the user id right so here instead of string i write user id okay and then make it a async function and then let's upload it so if the storage is not if it is now then you do the init functionality and then await storage and then let's see what they have done create file okay then file equals to create file i will just copy this okay it says uncondition unconventionally invoke what's the unconditionally invoke so because it can be a null variable that's why we are doing this so try and then bucket id now we have to take the bucket id from here so let's take the bucket id and then paste it out here okay so once there is the bucket id then we give file id right file id dot unique and then what we can do is basically we can also 
okay so for id that's fine right okay yeah i think id can be id dot unique and then the file input file is in path input file is path image dot image no file input file then path would be this one image path that we have right yeah so image path and then the file name has to be uh, what is the file name so it will be image path dot split dot last yeah okay and then this will not be an issue so now we are uploading the file okay i think that's it so i think we should get an error of implementation not found whenever we are going to upload the select an image yeah you see platform exception channel error unable to establish connection so that's because we have just added the thing right so we need to restart the app okay yeah that's it now we have to wait for a few minutes in order for the application to build okay so we have the application built up now it says lost connection yeah got it so the issue here is we are using ios so we need to add this in our info.plist file so i need to go to the pinfo.plist and then i need to add this things so i need to add key okay so key true right so here i need to add it so i will write key paste it okay okay camera okay do i need microphone let's check camera microphone yeah we need microphone so let's write key microphone okay okay so this is what you have to do now we will again build the application
okay so our app is ready let's check now okay yeah see so we will give allow access to all photos we will select a photo it's selected no issue and then we will upload okay we can't do that so let me add some data added to do successfully let's go back here let's come to the storage let's go inside this and you can see that we have an image here so we have successfully uploaded an image to the bucket so to make it in a proper way what you need to do is for every let's say for profile image you create a separate bucket for any other images you create a separate bucket in that way what we will be able to do is you will be able to properly manage the images for your application so yeah so this was a short video so i guess you have understood how this will work and in this in the next video i will start with the authentication or let's say we have google authentication or any other type of authentication so we will start with that and I, what i will try to do is i will try to take up a application let's say i take up an e-commerce application and we will build this step by step using app right and flutter so that will also give you a better idea how to write a real world application in flutter using app right so thank thank you and i will see you guys in the next video bye